Hello, everybody. This is Michael with SEO Geek, and I want to go over a few uh, features and options you have within the SEO Geek dashboard. So out the gate, when you guys first register, obviously you won't have any customer lists in here. That's, that's going to be blank. I want to go across the top because there's a few things to note in here. Starting over here with your account, you've got your profile. Um, you can click your profile, get your, your address, your phone number. All this is fine to share for me because this is our main core business. It'll list um, if you have certain skill sets that you like to define. It, it, this is kind of how a team member looks as well. So if you have multiple team members, you'll be able to see how many tasks they have open, how many they've closed, you know, what you've defined for a rate. If you want to do this, this is all optional. You can see um, logins, logouts, go through and turn on and off specific notifications, go through paging. With profile, if I go edit profile, Again, you'll see same same information that you see within the profile. Obviously, you can turn on double off, turn it off, email notification, not email authentication. We've got profile photos, and then obviously change your password. In here, we also have the billing. So the way the billing works is it's based off the business. You can have 20 team members. You're still only paying one fee. You do not get charged per team member. The only way a team member would have to have their own billing is if they have a separate business. So to explain the way the businesses work, this one here is my core business. So I'll click on this and this one would have its own subscription. Within here, I've got 64 customers. I've got 20 team members. Um, we've done over 8,000 tasks, over 8,000 actions. <clears throat> and then uh, you get the general information. Some of the stuff you'll see in here is there's this public profile. The reason why we have a public profile link is in the edit business section, you have the ability to make your profile public or not as far as the business goes. And if you do, it shows up in a directory listing for businesses that, that are using the system. And then you can include your social media. The reason we have that is eh, backlinks. Everybody likes a good backlink. And it's completely optional. So coming through here, You'll notice I have two businesses. So if I used Kids Eat Free, I have a whole separate team. I have a whole separate set of tasks, the whole nine yards. But right now I do have this one turned off. And then if I go view all, if I did need to add another business, I can. So each business individually is billed individually, saying that twice. And then you have um, as many customers as you want way the system's currently built for billing is you pay uh, $9 to have access to the system, which gives you one customer. And then you pay an additional two to $3 for each customer profile you build in here. We're replacing that. So it's going to be one flat fee. You can have unlimited customers, unlimited teams, unlimited actions. So that that's going to be changed within the next 30 days. And I'll talk more about that later, not in this video. Coming through, you have this bell. The bell obviously is when you create tasks, um, tasks get completed, it'll come list up in here. I don't really use this much myself because of the simple fact that I get it all in email anyway, and I work from my email. You won't have this gear, that's an admin thing, but you will have this lightning bolt. So no matter what, where you're in the system, you can always click here, you can add a new quote. Quotes allow you to create a quote, send them off to customers. It'll email it for you and it's got statuses and responses and quote changes. You can add a new customer. You can add contacts. You can add projects, add tasks, add resources. And all these are also available under this main menu other than customers. We're pulling this one out here because it's on the dashboard already. So in your dashboard, you, you get a list of your total tasks, open tasks, closed tasks, the usual information. If there's customer requests, wait and if you've got um, open open quotes. By default, it, it starts on your customers that are active because you can have archived customers in here that, that you don't want to uh, show up in your list anymore. And then you've got tasks and this, this you can switch between tasks and SEO. So if you're using this as a project management tool, we, we use it for both SEO and project management, which is why this was built. So for example, I am managing the development of SEO Geek in here, as well as Kids Eat Free and a few other projects. So you can see I have 93 open tasks, 11 are critical, 23 uh, high tasks, and then 
you know, tw uh, one is in the review state. So when you create a task within the system, you have you have when it's open, you have when it's in review, you have an approved state, and then you have a published state and a closed state. If I and all these are sortable, that's something that we're notorious for doing. If you ever see anything in here where there's a column that's not sortable, let us know because we will fix that. If I go over to SEO, I can switch this to the projects I'm doing. If the reason why we got blanks is we don't do SEO for all these customers. These ones we do. So again, when you run your analysis, if your main core use of this is SEO, then you'll want to be in this, this view and you'll see we ran a uh, analysis report on the fourth one on the 24th. So this, you can see when we run them, the current site scores, domain ranks, backlinks, keywords, the whole nine yards. And then here you can click, and this will show you the history and the up and down of them as you've run them. And if you hit refresh, it'll start a new one. Or from the dashboard, you can always just hit this and it'll start a new one. So for example, we don't do it for these guys, but I'll just go ahead and hit it. It'll start up. It'll let you know when it's processing. They're on, on, not blah, 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 blah. They're not automatic. So what happens is it's running in the background. When it's done, you'll receive an email on it, letting you know that the, uh, the report's been done. And then you can come in here at any time as well and see all your, your website analysis that you've ran. Another key fact with factor with um, the uh, dashboard is the search. So for example, if I'm working with a customer, PSS, PSSAV, I can do my search. It'll give me the customer in one row so I can quickly get to them that way. If there's any uh, tasks that have that term in it, PSSAV, it'll list the tasks. And then obviously I can see the closed tasks. Now, uh, and if there's any service requests from them or wrapped around them. If we go into, um, say for example, I'm not normally searching for a customer through there, I'm searching for a project or, or a task. So let's say Sony. So if I do Sony, you'll see there's no Sony customer, but I have Sony tasks that are that are sitting in here open. Apparently this one's been open for a while, so I'll probably have to go ahead and kill that one. And then below that, we'll go through and see different closed tasks that we had in there. That's a quick summary of the dashboard. I just wanted to get you to know the dashboard, the search, specifically that here's where you can quickly add anything. And then the whole purpose of the tasks, the SEO, and how these multi-businesses work. Thank you. I like and subscribe, and we will uh, be adding a bunch of these within the next uh, week or two.